Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. We're here in Las Vegas for Gartner Data Center here at the Venetian and Sands Expo Hall. I'm Peter Silva, and this week we're talking a lot about application availability between hybrid data centers, and it seems that hybrid is the new normal. We got hybrid cars, hybrid corn, among other things. We got hybrid clouds, hybrid data centers, and so who better to get with me, one of my favorite guests, Robert Haynes, he's, what are you again? I don't know anymore. I am a marketing solutions architect. And we work together, so I should probably know this, but you never know. So, you know, what do you think? Is, is hybrid the new normal, Robert? I think the stats, the stats are inarguable. Like 94% of organizations are doing something as well as data center. So they're, they're doing some kind of cloud service, they're using something, so, so no one, no one is just doing data center. No one's just owning an infrastructure. Pretty much everybody is doing something out there that's not just in their own side of their own data center. So. And even if, even if it's just a SaaS application, you're talking Salesforce, you're talking Office 365, if you're dabbling in that, you're dabbling in cloud, aren't you? That's right, everyone's doing at least something that's not just in their own space. So in these, in these hybrid environments, when you have you know, multiple entities that are delivering out your resources and content, how do you then manage all that? How do you get those entities to communicate with each other to perform as one, really? Well, I think that's the tricky part, isn't it, for the IT teams out there. They want to deliver all these new services. They know that they have SaaS to deal with. They know that, that their business units want to be able to do things quicker. Um, and yet they still hold the responsibility for, for kind of the, the, the security policy, for making it all work, for being able to report on it. So it's definitely a challenge. And the how do you just do that is, is, is a big question, to be honest. Um, I think organizations are, are kind, of, kind of rounding up we had this burst of everyone doing cloud things, of doing SaaS things. It strikes me that now our, that IT teams are absolutely focused on getting on top of this stuff yeah. and providing a, a, a portfolio of standardized services. So they still want to give that, that ability to people to do things quickly, to drive all that agility. So I think the, um, the stats that, that Gartner themselves have said here is that 70% you know, of, of people are doing hybrid type activities for agility purposes, for speed, not for efficiency. They're not doing it to save money, they're doing it to do things quicker. Um, and so the, the IT departments have had to respond to that, but they also have to kind of build a tool set that lets them you know, do the things quickly, but keep control. So if you look around the, uh, the exhibition here all today, it's all about control, it's all about reporting, it's all about being able to put some, a few strategic solutions in place to, to manage how you access your, your, your hybrid services, how you're able to, to put services and applications wherever you need them, you know, be those on-premises, be those in a cloud, be those in a, you know, a PaaS environment, or just outsource to a SaaS. But how do, you, how do you still deliver a standard set of services at the application layer across that? How do you make sure that your, your identity management is done is the same, you manage the same identity whether you're using a SaaS service, whether you're using a, a, your own data center, whether you're using something out in the cloud. How do, you, how do you keep things available? How do you keep things secure? And you need those policies to be standardized, even if all the places you're using are completely different. And, I, you know, and, and as IT is becoming more of a facilitator to some extent because it's driven by the business needs and, and obviously they need those various tools to be able to manage that appropriately. Yeah, that's right. I mean, we, we were talking yesterday that as, as IT, as, as kind of corporate IT does less and less of the drudgery operational stuff and, um, and does more and more the problem solving they're really paid to do, you know. So that, that gives them the, the ability to deploy these tools, to deploy standardized services across, across whatever network. So, you know, they're, they're all there to, um, <laughs> we, we love the interruptions. Yeah. Um, the, you know, the, the, the tool sets they need are there, they are able to use their, their skill sets to solve problems to the business, rather than worry about you know, installing operating systems and things yeah, like and that. Yeah, and one of the things we were talking about yesterday was the fact that um, in the olden days, right, it, somebody would come to IT and say, oh, I need this big a server running this application and I need four or five of them in this rack and so forth, where now it's more along the lines of, you know, I, I have a service that requires, you know, 100,000 100, clicks in a minute, and that's really the criteria now, right? That's right, so, you know, it's left to, it should be left to um, 
ideally, you know, the, the business presents a problem and IT solves the problem. And now we have, um, now we have a, a wider range of things to do it with. But the important thing is we've got all this choice. We've got all this choice. I can, I can probably still got a data center somewhere. You know, most people out here have probably still got some compute how they, uh, they own. But they also know they can go and use a, a service. Um, but do I want to have to have a different set of services and a different way of doing availability, a different way of ensuring security, a different way of doing identity in all these different places. No, I, I really want to build a standardized set of services. You know, if I'm an enterprise architect, I want to be able to talk to, to my, my organization and go, this is how we do identity. This is how we do availability. This is how we, we provide information security. Now, the locations I provide them in probably change. You know, sometimes it's going to be great to do it on my servers, in my private cloud that I, I've built internally. Sometimes I might want to put it in the public cloud because that's the make, makes the most business sense. Yeah. But those services, I don't want to have to reinvent those services every time. I don't want to have to have a different identity system, a different security system for Amazon as I might do for you know, a VMware compute environment. I want those, those you know, important layer four through seven services like security, identity, performance, acceleration. I don't want to have to invent you know, six different versions of that just because I've got different locations to choose from. I want consistency. Yeah. And one of the things I rant about often is this whole idea about the hybrid data center not necessarily being a physical location or the, phys or the mythical cloud out there. It's really more a strategy based on your workloads and your applications and how do you then best support the business with, with your various entities that deliver out services. Yeah, that's completely right. You don't want to just you know, if it's like it's back to the uh, you know, if, if all you have is a hammer, everything's a nail. Well, now, now the IT teams have got loads of choices, uh, and that means that's great. But it also means that you know that the, the the consistency they need in, in policy has to be kind of implemented across all of those environments. So it, it's a good thing because I have more places to do do stuff. But I have to make sure that I all the things I'm still responsible for. You know, I can't say, yeah, well, you know, we had a problem. It, 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 the service went down, but I, I put it in Amazon, so it's not my fault. That doesn't, that doesn't wash with anyone, does it? You know, okay, I put it in Amazon, and I, I made sure I architected it for availability in Amazon, and I can move it somewhere else really quickly. Or I put it in you know, our local data center, and uh, capacity, the demand, this new service we threw up, when the command, demand went through the roof, but I, I couldn't do anything about it. I'm still responsible for making sure it stays working. So I, the, the policy and the, and the services I need still have to, to be there, even if I've got more places to put them in. And so a year from now, Back at Gartner Data Center, are we going to be? You think we'll there'll be more people in that realm, or we'll probably be around the same place, just more people testing the water, or, or will it become truly? I, I think it's already the new normal now, but m more normal, normal. Yeah, I think. I mean, uh, hybrid data centers or hybrid delivery is the new normal. Yeah. Um, What's going to change is, is, is the percentage that goes to different locations. Um, and that's going to happen because people are going to have better tools. They're going to feel more comfortable because they, they know that the, the, the rich policies they've built, the control they've got internally, once they, once they understand that they can, they can still have that control in other locations because they're able to duplicate the same set of services that they've, they've grown and you know, they've known in their, in their data center environment, when they can take those services, pick them up, and push them out to other locations, um, and we make it easier for them, and the whole IT industry makes it easier for them to do that. And it's just a, when it becomes a business decision about where do I put this, because I know that I've got the information security, the availability, and the performance I need wherever I put it, because I can use the same services, and have the magic dial that lets me go, well, I'm putting it here and there. Then I think we're going to get there. Um, a year from now, I think we'll be having a similar conversation, but Probably. we'll have moved on a bit. Yeah. So you know, one of Robert's favorite words to, I, to like describe people is clever. You use that word a lot, I don't know if you know that. Like, oh, that was a clever thing. Now, to me, Robert is actually one of the most clever people, and in a good way, because clever can mean you know, one side or the other okay. side. You know, but uh, I always love talking to Robert, so I do appreciate your time. Thanks very much. Even though I can't remember your title. So, a little bit, a lot bit more about hybrid and hybrid being the new normal and what organizations are doing today within their infrastructures and data centers with my good buddy for Robert. I got Erin behind the lens, her first time shooting. How you doing back there, Erin? Give a wave. <laughs> I'm Peter, thanks for watching. We're with F5 Networks. <laughs>